Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have set myself a little challenge to make 10 outfits out of 10 items and I'm gonna be using only basic items for this. If you haven't heard of the 10 by 10 challenge or 10 by 10 videos, I will link some of my favorites in the info box below. These are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. And like I said, I've decided to do my own today and I'm gonna be using only basic items that most of us will have something similar to in our wardrobes, hopefully. And this is number one to make it really easy for everyone to recreate but also um, so that it spans across seasons. I'm not including coats in this. I've got two pairs of shoes and you could swap it out for something a little bit more seasonally appropriate depending on where you are in the world. But yeah, hopefully this is something that everyone can take a little bit of inspiration from. I am gonna include two coats in this that aren't really in the 10 by 10 because I think these outfits work fine on their own. And for the in-between seasons, I wear this stuff on its own without a coat. So basically these are some very basic outfits that you can dress up um, to suit your climate. So I thought I'd start by talking you through the items and then I'll show you the full outfits in a minute. The first item I've gone for is obviously very basic because all of these are basics. Um, I am a very basic human being, so this is like my perfect video. But this is a Topshop long sleeve, slightly cropped t-shirt. It's not too cropped on me because my body is quite short, but almost, if you're a, if you're like average height or above, I feel like this would be quite cropped. But I love this for mixing with so many different kind of bottoms. So I've actually gone for a few different textures within this edit. So I've gone for denim, leather, and then a very standard kind of tailored texture, um, just so I can mix different tops and have a different kind of effect. So with that in mind, next up, I have a pair of denim mom jeans. These are from Topshop as well. I love wearing these with all of the items on this rail. I wear these so, so regularly. Um, I have them in ripped as well, but I thought we'd go for a very standard non-ripped pair today because ripped jeans are definitely something that you love or hate. And I wanted to kind of make this appropriate for everybody. So yeah, that's my second item. Third, we have this jumper, which I have had for like a bajillion years now. It's from ASOS. Uh, needs a bit of a limp roll, but we're gonna ignore that. It's very, very long sleeved. The cuffs on this are a bit crazy, but I love the very standard fit that it has. It's got a high neckline and it's a really nice fitted knit and it's very like fine knit. It's very simple, very plain, but works so well with so many items in my wardrobe. So I couldn't not include that. And I feel like it's one of those basics that the majority of people do have in their wardrobe. After that, I've gone for a nude colored knit. This is one of my favorite items in my wardrobe. And I feel like it goes with so much. And we all have a slouchy jumper of some kind. Nude is obviously my color preference because as you'll see, if you've watched my videos for a long time or if you're new here, you will have seen or will see that I just basically love white, nude, black, kind of cream, denim and that's about it really so this is my jumper color of choice but you could pick any color really and i thought it would go beautifully with these especially these are my zara leather i think they're called leather leggings on the website but i would class them as a trouser because they are so so thick these are a skinny leg fit i have them in jogger and also like a mom jean kind of style but obviously leather and i just find that they go with pretty much everything except a leather jacket so oh these keep falling off the hanger my hangers are from zara by the way because everyone asks uh, and they're not that good so would not advise they're purely for decoration these videos so yeah i love the leather trousers uh with these in particular if they are still in stock i'll link them in the info box below but i would say to be quite careful with sizing because i've got a medium and the first time i tried them on i was like wow these are only just about doing up. And now they're fine, but normally with Zara, I'd get small. So um, I would think about going a size up with their stuff. Next, of course, we have a Zara body. I think this is the only video in existence where I've ever bothered to hang one of these. I love these. I have them in pretty much every color that exists. I think there's only one kind of burnt reddish color that I missed the boat on because I wasn't quick enough. These sell out really, really quickly, but do tend to come back in stock. So I will link them in the info box as with everything, I'll stop saying that. I love this one. I picked this color in particular because I felt like it went really well with the majority of items on this rail. And there was a lot of black already. So I had the black jumper and a black t-shirt and obviously the leather trousers. So I didn't want to go for my black body. I decided to go for the nude just because I feel like it's a really lovely versatile color. And I just, I love it so much. I get probably the most wear, I would say, out of the nude one. Then we have a white t-shirt. This is from Zara again. They do the best basics. So a lot of my basics are from there. This is a gorgeous, really light 
kind of floaty v-neck basic top i just love the way this falls i've got it in a medium so it's a little bit more oversized but i just find that it slouches really really nicely on me so i would say if you want that effect then definitely size up i just absolutely love it the way it moves is just so gorgeous um and it tucks really nicely into pretty much everything so i just think it's a really great basic item to have in your wardrobe and then finally for kind of the clothing items we have my Topshop cigarette trousers they always do these in some kind of format but they just change the detailing slightly i have had these for years and they've been a staple item in my wardrobe and pretty much go with everything and you can dress them up or dress them down as well this video is going to be mainly casual outfits so i'm not going to be showing you how to dress them up but they are great for that so with that in mind shoes i've gone for two very casual options so we have my gucci trainers any white trainers really these actually have slightly more color on them than i would normally go for but i didn't want to go for my huge really chunky pair of trainers i have nike air max 97s which i love but i just felt like they are a very love it or hate it trainer so i thought i'd go for something that's a little bit more simple um in terms of the actual like structure and shape and then i also have the zara lace-up boots they don't do them in this exact design anymore but they always do something slightly similar um but i will link any that are very similar to this and then any other boots i have i have a pair of Topshop lace-up boots which are really great um, and i would recommend so i'll link a few options in the info box but these are so great for wearing with with mom jeans, uh, leather trousers and regular trousers. So I just thought that they were the perfect item to pair with in this video. So like I said, I haven't included coats, but I have a warmer coat option and a lighter coat option just to kind of show you more of a finished product and give you some ideas on how you could style it. But all of these outfits go really well with pretty much any coat. So whatever coat you have, you could just wear the same coat with all of these. I just wanted to kind of give two options for different climates and also bags. I'm not including in this, uh, but I might just pick one bag and wear it the same throughout this video or pair with different bags. I'll see how I feel. But I wanted this to be more about the outfit and not kind of about the accessories. So um, I'm not going to focus too much on that, mainly just the body of the outfit. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is outfit number one. It's definitely one of my favourites of the entire video. I really like the contrast of the very fluffy knit and the leather trousers. I just really love the way it looks. It's really cute. And then the biker boots add like an extra little bit of toughness to the look as well. I also really like that with this outfit, you're kind of playing with proportions a little bit. So the jumper is very oversized and slouchy and the bottoms are very, very, very fitted. So I think it just works really nicely at like balancing out the top to the bottom. If you wanted to dress this one up as well, you could also pop on a pair of really simple heels with it. Like I go for black heels maybe, or even a nude pair. And I think that would definitely dress it up, but without feeling too overdressed. So if you wanted to make an everyday outfit a little bit more evening appropriate, that's definitely something you could do with this one as well. And just to give you an idea of accessories, a nude bag with this I think would work really, really nicely. This is from a brand called West 22, this one. And it comes with a long strap as well. It's not one that I tend to use if I want a long strap bag, but you do have that option with it. I just think it's a really cool style of bag. And then my sunglasses are also from Celine. And the coat I've thrown on with this one is from Lorna Lux's range within the style. I've got a size 10 in this one and it is a little bit oversized. So choose your sizing accordingly, whether you want a slightly oversized fit or not. So for this next outfit, I'm using the same jumper and boots, but I've switched up the bottoms. I've gone for the light blue jeans and I found that this casuals the look down so much more. It makes it look a lot more relaxed. The lighter blue just makes it look a lot softer as well. I've paired it with the same boots just to kind of toughen it up a little bit. Cause I, like I said, the light blue makes it very soft mixed with the nude soft knit. So um, I thought that would toughen it up a little bit. You could add the trainers with it as well, which I will show you if you wanted more of a like casual vibe, but um, I really like this. So this is what it looks like with the trainers. I actually think I prefer this to the boots, but I quite like having a little bit of ankle on show. I know that's not something that everyone prefers, but I actually really like it. It's very cute, very relaxed. I've also tucked in the jumper in a very kind of specific way with the outfit before i just tucked it in at the front and at the back whereas with this one i've kind of taken the front of the jumper twisted it and then tucked it into the jeans these jeans have a lot of room so it's very kind of easily done but it's just balanced out the slouchy fits a little bit more because obviously before we were working with a very skinny leg kind of silhouette so we could go very slouchy on the top but with this the bottoms are very kind of baggy on me, especially like around here and around the waist as well. So this kind of helps to stop my waist line sliding about, but also just cinches this jumper in a little bit. So we're not working with two very, very baggy proportions. It kind of just balances out slightly. And I think that's why I like having my ankle and shirt kind of streamlines 
the look a little bit more and makes it look a bit less chunky. This outfit is one of my favourites. It's basically because of this jumper. It's one of my favourites. I just love how fitted it is. It's so soft. It's really comfortable to wear. I am slightly scared that I'm going to need a new one because I've just noticed the collar's going a bit funny. I'm hoping a wash will like sort that out. But I just love this jumper so much. I think because it's fitted, it works so beautifully with these jeans and this is a great one for all times of year. It's a great all-rounder. So you've got the lightness of the jean but then the top is very dark and this jumper also works great for kind of those in-between seasons like spring, autumn and then it also works really well in the winter if you want to wear thermals underneath and like wrap up with a scarf and stuff like that. This is a really great outfit for all year round because of that. I kept it on with my trainers just because I think it makes like a nice casual outfit but this would also work really well with my boots which i will show you in a second and i think it would work really nicely with my trench coat as well so i'm going to show you that in a second but maybe with the boots you want to do it with the boots no i'll show you it now only thing that really winds me up about this coat is the uh sleeves i'm definitely gonna to have to pin them at some point soon it's so cute i just love it so yeah, this is what it looks like with uh, the trench coat on. I really like wearing the trench coat with trainers. I just think it works beautifully. It looks like a really like casual kind of Scandi chic style outfit. When we say Scandi, because I feel like trench coats are a very Brit thing. I don't know. It just feels very, very cool. Um, I love this kind of look. So yeah, that would be a kind of coat of choice for this one. So this is the same outfit but with the boots on and I feel like it completely changes it up. The boots match the top really nicely because they're the same shade and then I've just gone for a black bag in addition to that to kind of sync everything together and I think it works so nicely. It looks very smart even though it's super casual. It's also kind of a tougher version of the look before it was very relaxed. This is slightly tougher and I really like the mixture of the chunky boots but with a bag that's a very soft material to kind of soften that. I just think it's a very cool outfit. And a pair of dark sunglasses with this just kind of completes the whole thing and I love it. So this next look is actually one that I wear all the time and it's a great example of how you can make an item in your wardrobe that is typically more workwear, work for a more casual situation as well. So these trousers are tailored cigarette trousers. I would say that they're very work appropriate. So you could wear them with a shirt during the week or if you're in a smart casual office, you could actually get away with wearing a jumper like this because the trousers are very, very smart and then the top is actually not that unsmart. So it's definitely one that you could probably get away with in a smart casual office depending on where the boundaries are in that situation. But obviously take your own footwear into account because with this I've paired a pair of trainers and this is a classic example of how you can make a smart pair of trousers work kind of on the weekends. I love this look. It's one of my favourites purely because the trousers are Though they're not tight as such, they're a little bit more fitted. And then the jumper is also fitted, so the whole look is very streamlined, and I love that. I always feel so comfortable in this outfit, and I pair it with so many different pairs of shoes, different jackets, to give different vibes, but it's just a really great base for an outfit. And like I said, I've had these for years, so they're a really great example of something that will work in your wardrobe over time, and that despite your style changing, you will probably never get bored of. I think they're a great investment to have in your wardrobe. And this is what the black boots look like with the outfit. I actually would say that I prefer a pair of black boots that don't have the pearls around them. A slight mistake on my part when choosing which items to have in this video, my Topshop pair that are chunkier but more plain would definitely have worked better in hindsight, but I did want a slightly less chunky pair of boots. So that was the executive decision that I made, but with this outfit in hindsight, it doesn't work so much because you have like the whole black outfit and then the pearls kind of really break it up. So I'd say if you're looking to recreate this and that maybe is like kind of jarring to you as well, then just a plain pair of boots would just kind of complete the silhouette and it would just be a really great base layer for any outfit. I think this would work really, really nicely with any coat really, um, I'm going to show you one coat option that I have, which I don't think you've seen yet so far in this video. So this coat is huge, but definitely one of the warmest coats I own. It's like a faux teddy fur type uh, jacket. It looks really, really lovely with an all black outfit though, which is why I kind of picked it for this. I also think this outfit would look amazing with a pair of like black quite high heel boots just to kind of give you that extra length in the leg if you are shorter I would definitely recommend it. I just chose not to go for that with this video at all because I know not everyone is like super into wearing heels so I've gone for two flat pairs of shoes just to give you some kind of great everyday options 
and your boots also do make it a little bit smarter so just kind of wanted to steer away from that but that is also an option with this outfit if it's something that you feel is missing so this next outfit is basically the spring version i would say of the previous outfit with the jumper um, i've swapped it out for the top shop t-shirt i love this one because it's really floaty and the trousers are slightly fitted and this kind of like is very baggy and it's a lot cooler i'm gonna be honest like i was kind of sweating it out in my jumper so this is a much cooler option and the fact that it's floaty kind of adds to that it feels much more relaxed because it's such a slouchy oversized very relaxed fit and i really really like that i love the fact that it's cropped as well because i do think it works really really nicely with where the trousers cut into as well so i think on most it would kind of come up a little bit higher so um just kind of purchase accordingly if you're looking to recreate this as to like the length of the black t-shirt if you like a crop then this one would be a great one to consider but if you don't then it might be best to consider a slightly longer t-shirt but definitely go for something with a more boxy fit so that it kind of has this kind of billowy effect because you don't want to be having something that's too long and then tucking it in but because it's so slouchy and relaxed i've gone for the trainers with this outfit rather than the boots i think the boots would just kind of look a bit too everything would be a bit too clunky uh, in this outfit but I think the trainers kind of really streamlines it down and you can wear it with like the trench coat that I have I think that would make a really nice I'm really talking with my hands over well I think the trench coat would make a really nice addition to this outfit if you wanted um, some outerwear but this one works great on cooler days in the summer as well I just think it's a really easy one to throw on and I think the top being looser kind of lends it quite nicely towards like a cold summery day as well. This next one is a really nice, simple, easy everyday outfit. Whether you're leaving the house or you're not, it's just a really comfortable and kind of like it's smart, but not smart. The trousers make it look a little bit more pulled together, but the t-shirt and trainers are definitely a much more casual piece. I really love this one. You can kind of throw anything on with this in terms of like a jacket. It could be denim, leather, trench coat, like big fluffy coat, literally anything can go with this one. So this is one of those like great base outfits. Definitely one that I would get more wear of out of the house in terms of late spring, summertime, but during the winter as well, this is a really great one for wearing around the house on slightly more mild days. Just very relaxed, very effortless. I think with like a low kind of very slick back pony, everything just looks very kind of like cool and really effortless and just to recap on pieces so this is the white zara v-neck and then i've got my top shop cigarette kind of tailored trousers and then a pair of gucci trainers i wouldn't put the boots with this one again as with i think the last outfit i think it would be too much kind of slouchiness and it would be a bit of an overload but that does depend on your personal preference if you prefer that kind of look then definitely give it a go but for me this is definitely my comfort zone the trousers are a little bit more streamlined and the t-shirt is like a little bit more slouchy but i have kind of tucked it in to pull it in a little bit more and in terms of the tuck i've kind of done the same as i did with my jumper earlier except i've kind of wound it a little bit more because obviously there's more material and just tuck that neatly into the front of my trousers and I've made sure it's done quite tight so that it really pulls the back in. So for this next outfit I've actually swapped the trousers out for my leather skinny trousers, leather leggings and I find that this one is a more casual vibe but it's still helping you look pulled together. I just find leather trousers really make it look like you've made an effort when you're really really not and that's one of the things I really love about them because I don't like to put too much work into an outfit if i'm very honest so yeah i love these ones i've turned these ones up a little bit at the bottom for this outfit i find that with trainers they do come down on quite far on me like below my ankle so it almost like meets the shoe and does look a little bit awkward works perfectly with the boots because they're obviously they come up higher on your leg it doesn't matter and in the winter the extra warmth around your ankle is always great but with this it does just look slightly off so i have rolled them up once just to give the illusion that i am a little bit taller than i am and that the jeans fit slightly better than they actually do it's something i do a lot on basically any pair of leggings but yeah i love the way this looks i've also tucked the t-shirt again kind of similar to before but it's actually a much looser tuck so I've done the same twist but not wound as tightly and I've also kind of let it slouch at the back there's a slight tightness to the pull at the front but it's then allowing like the kind of material above to kind of fall loose and I just think it 
looks really nice and creates a really nice shape and flow. This is another one of those outfits that I think looks really, really cool with a trench coat. It's a really lovely, like, transitional springtime look. Even in the summer, I think a trench coat works well. With this one especially, I feel like you can get away with tying it. I don't like to tie my trench coats every time I wear them, but I do think that it works really, really nicely when you're wearing, like, a streamlined trouser and a trainer. It just looks very cool, but very pulled together, and I just love that look so much. So, yeah, this is the kind of finished look and I would obviously pair it with my Celine sunglasses because lots of you all know I'm obsessed with recreating Rosie Huntington Whiteley outfits and this is one of my favourite kind of combos is the kind of nude trench coat look with the Celine sunglasses. I just love that vibe. Definitely very kind of inspired by her. So yeah, this is one of my faves. And I just like the ponytail with it as well. I think changing your hairstyle with a lot of these outfits, even though they're very basic, kind of gives you a slightly different look. So I think a low ponytail with a like middle part is much more of a cool girl vibe. And if you wanted like a little bit more of a glam low ponytail, you could kind of change your passing and have it coming from much further over. I think that with the trench coat would be a very old school vibe. So if you want to go for something that's a little bit more kind of old, Hollywood glam then that's something to think about but I really like a middle part with a low ponytail especially with short hair as well I just think it's like this outfit is such a vibe and this outfit you will probably have seen a few times before in different variations because this is something that I wear on rotation I have this Zara body in three four five different colors I have high neck ones and then normal kind of scoop neck ones and they are one of the most versatile pieces in my wardrobe which i feel like i haven't really illustrated enough in this video but trust me there's still time there's more videos to come uh, where i'm sure this will feature very very heavily but um it's one of my favorite most versatile pieces in my wardrobe i've paired it with the leather look leggings as with the outfit before but i've switched up the boot and this is one of those outfits that kind of comes back to the first outfit i would wear this under that jumper to kind of add more warmth and more layers but this also works really nicely on its own with a much chunkier coat if it's very cold outside but not quite so cold where you're going into this is a great layer to be wearing so i'm going to pair this with uh, the chunkier winter coat and i just really love that look and i love all of the nude tones together it all just works really really nicely and it's definitely a great one to consider during the winter time when you need more layering options and also works quite nicely in the in-between seasons as well so this is what the outfit looks like with a coat thrown over I do this a lot because when I'm indoors I tend to be very 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 warm I run super warm but outdoors uh, I think it's part of being like quite a small human being you heat up and cool down very very quickly so I like having like a chunky layer that I can throw on and take off and I'm quite impatient so I don't like working with a lot of layers if I don't have to I know a lot of people swear by layering but it's definitely not very well suited to my personality type because I have zero patience <laughs> with the world but I love this mixed with the Zara body I love the two neutral tones together Together. and then everything else is very black and streamlined it's one of those really nice pulled together but with minimal effort outfits as with I feel like most of this it is definitely pulled together but with minimal effort and that is I feel like my style to a T so yeah this is kind of how I would warm this one up for the winter time and then obviously in summer you can go for lighter layers but um yeah I just love this I feel like I said about all the outfits in this video um, because when I'm picking a 10 by 10 I am going to pick my favourite items and favourite outfits. And I think if my maths is correct that is it for the 10 outfits. I think I could have eked another one out of this but to be honest it was very very hard. I think especially when you aren't including coats or too many accessories I really tried to limit the coats and accessories I used because I don't want to be accused of cheating which I probably will be anyway but I just wanted to stick to a couple of options to show you how these outfits can work across seasons and i feel like it was slightly more useful than just not using a coat at all in any way shape or form but yeah it was hard i did feel like i was scared that things were becoming a bit more repetitive uh very very quickly but i guess that's the challenge of the 10 by 10. i think if i was much more of a shirt wearer or i don't know wore a few more patterns it would maybe have been slightly more interesting but i actually think in the long run slightly harder because not everything goes with everything and that's one thing that i would advise if you're looking to do a 10 by 10 because you want a rail like the one i have if you're looking to do a system like that um or you're doing a 10 by 10 because you're packing to go on holiday i would definitely say that having a cohesive color palette although it can become quite uh, dull quite quickly 
it definitely is slightly easier in terms of just throwing things together because everything works. I think more than anything though, the major challenge for me with this 10 by 10 was the fact that I didn't use a Zara leather jogger pair at all. And I didn't use my uh, ASOS sock boots. And it's made me realize how much of a key item in my wardrobe those two things have become because I kept going to reach for them when styling and they're obviously not there because I'm not choosing them because this is a 10 by 10. So yeah, that was the big biggest challenge for me out of everything uh, which I found quite funny and it also highlighted for me how much I like to switch up my shoes I was missing so many different shoes a lot and how important different accessories are I do feel like the couple of pairs of accessories that I picked out to pair things with really just changed the whole outfit and hopefully that shows how much you can do with accessories and just having very kind of plain basic items in your wardrobe they're great items to build on top of and even changing little things like your hairstyle really changes up the vibe of an outfit i actually preferred a lot of these outfits with like a low ponytail like a cool girl ponytail that's what i call it in my brain and I, then i say it out loud and i want to die it definitely makes the whole thing look so very different so those are definitely things to consider your shoes your accessories well do you class shoes as accessories some people do some people don't i don't know but yeah shoes accessories and like your hairstyle and even makeup can change all of these outfits so much. So yeah, this was a really fun uh, little project for me. Let me know if you'd like to see more 10 by 10s and I can theme them, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's it from me. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's obviously my first one of these, so go easy on me, but I loved doing it. So yeah, looking forward to hearing what you think and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.